Man, would you look at that? I got one, I get the weigh, guys. I forgot my net today, so I had to land him like a bass. Look at how thick he is. That crappie. Now he jumped on the beetle spin with crappie bites. Now he's a good one. Yes, sir. Oh, wow, guys. Incredible. Look what that is. That's the first one I ever caught in my life. Look at that striped nose. Well, hey, guys, we're back. The duck hunters are heading out. I'm headed in, and we're going to drop down in the single digits tonight. There's a hard front coming. It's actually not too bad out here. It's in the low 40s right now, but it's going to drop quick. And uh, I'm going to try to catch some of them crappie just before the front sometimes they bite really good and that's what we're going to go after let's see what we can do let's see what we got here oh yeah he's a good one if i can get him in oh yeah <laughs> i had to steer him in here he wasn't coming straight in a little black crappie that's a good eater we'll take him kind of bump in here and bump back out Zigzag around. See what we can find. It's a little chilly. <laughs> I'm getting a little cold already, and I <clears throat> I may be putting my jacket on a little quicker than I thought. Uh oh, you, you hear that fish? He's kicking right here where I caught him. They do that every time. That's just something I figured out. I keep hearing these crop crappie and I finally started paying attention. And sure enough, as soon as I get all the, over the zone where I caught that fish, he goes to flip it in that ice chest. He can sense it. He knows he's back where he started. It's kind of incredible. But that's what's good about having that slushy water. I can hear them when they're doing when they say, hey. This is where I was. Let me back out of here. <laughs> it is kind of weird, but they sure do it. They got some kind of a, a GPS built in them somehow. But they sure can. They can tell where they're at. I've, I've caught a fish like catch a fish here and float all over the lake all day long and come back over here. And if that fish is still alive, he'll kick right there when I get to that spot where I caught him. Kind of amazing. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh yeah. Uh oh. Come on in here, baby. <laughs> I might have trouble getting him. There we go. Oh yeah. That's another good one. <laughs> you see there, buddy? Oh, pretty white crappie. Yes, sir. That's a good one. We'll take you. The other end of the lake, a lot of guys fish that other end down there. They don't fish this end very often, but I do. I fish, well, I don't fish it really as often either because probably do catch more crappie down that other end. But when you do catch a crappie here, they're pretty good usually. So I don't mind. I don't mind fishing it. You got a good chance of catching you a tank. I like them big, big old crappies. But yeah, the river is coming up, guys. The river is fixing to flood all these trees. You see the water marks on the, on the trees right now from last time. But it does this generally every, every winter. But it's been staying flooded for a while. So this summer, I actually got to get in here and do a little fishing. And I was very happy. And I've only been fishing this lake since last fall. So, but it's always been flooded. Every, uh, the guy who told me about this lake... He told me about it, but I never could get over here because it was always flooded, muddy, red mud. So I could never do nothing. But this river, the Cache River that feeds this lake is jumping up 10 feet higher than it is. So this right here is gonna probably get seven, eight foot of water in it. And it'll probably be here most of the winter. I'll be lucky if, the, if they drop it by spring, you know, or because the Corps of Engineers, they control most of that water flow from them big lakes. I don't know if we'll get a chance. This runs into the White River. 
when they raise the white river up they slow this down and it don't it just floods all the land this is a flood prone region but one good thing about it it'll replenish this lake completely all them crappies are coming in from other places and all from the river and i caught a lot of crappie out of here this year and a lot of crappie is going to be replenished ain't no doubt oh man a good one holy mo oh that's a bass man what a bass i thought i had me that big boy crappie easy there guy easy we're gonna help you out if you give me a chance <laughs> ah there we go oh man <clears throat> that, <clears throat> that was a good bass look how light colored they already are that winter really puts it on them yeah he's a good thick old bass oh yeah all right later when you see bait fish and it's out in the middle i always know they're at they're close to the top so i try to go down below the bait fish because i know the fish are waiting for the weak ones down there they're waiting for the stragglers and the the injured ones and the slow ones old crappie sitting there looking he sees that big old bait wad and he sees a couple straying away he said oh yeah i'm going to get him there he is oh it's a good one oh oh it's a drum <laughs> oh well that wasn't the one i thought he was easy there guy easy and i'll let you go they're pretty this time of year look at the silver man they are pretty and and people say they taste like redfish so i'm gonna have to do a catch and cook on them i probably will this spring guys later there it goes it, it is already starting to get chilly guys i'm really surprised i thought it was gonna wait until dark but that cold's creeping on i'll be putting my big jacket on in a minute I didn't bring it for nothing. I knew there was something. A good chance of getting some. When it's going to drop down in the teens, you got a good chance of it. Or single digits, actually. But you got a good chance of uh, getting cold before dark. So I'll be bundle, bundling it up, hopefully enough. I'm going to be fishing a big open lake pretty soon. More like what you see on these uh, these guys in Texas and all them places fish. It ain't that big, but it is pretty big. So, we got some good crappie in it. Good bass. And actually pretty good catfish. But it's a reservoir. I'm uh, built in the 60s and it's got some pretty good fishing going on it, in the summertime it overgrows with with uh you got your hydrilla and your other grasses and stuff and it just takes over you can't even fish in the middle of the summer in the shallows so it's one of them lakes that people kind of avoid for a while and sometimes they don't make it back to it and you got a ch good chance of catching some good ones in, or in the early pre-spring or springtime before everybody loads up on the lake again so if i hit it this winter and work it into the spring i'm liable to bump into some of them giant giant carp uh, crappies in there there's some dandies in there and I've, I've bumped into a couple of them before but not here lately which i'm i've been fishing everywhere else too if the fish don't bite that time when i test it out i'm gone i didn't go back so because I found fish somewhere else. But yeah, it's getting a little nippy. I'm getting, I'm getting like a little chills. But that's what you expect when you get close to January. There she goes. There he goes. Oh yeah. He's he's close, but I don't. I think I want to let him grow a little bit. He gone. <laughs> yeah, 
It sure would be nice to go out with a big bang, big old crappie, you know, a new PB or something. That would be great. <laughs> well, just the PB for the year. That would be great. I'm at 210 this year so far. It's going to be hard to beat that 210 mark right now where in the lakes that I'm at. But it's possible. Like I said, that river's fixing to come up and flood this whole thing. It's going to be up about seven, eight foot. And uh, it's going to replenish it. You're going to have a whole bunch of new fish swim back in here. That's what's good about the river coming up and down in these lakes. The river's full of fish. They're, they're full of crappie, but it's always muddy and it's hard to fish. So when they get up in here and then the water kind of settles a little bit, these cr crappie come up in here in the spring do their spawning and then they're left over in here catch a few of them one day i picked off a few right there it was that day i caught that that 2.10 there he is oh my teeth can't get no pressure on him there we go <laughs> he's not he's not a giant but he's a good one yeah that's a good nice thick crappie we'll take him Daddy, I'm I need to tighten my drag up. Oh man, this is a slab. Oh. Man, would you look at that? I got one I get the way, guys. I forgot my net today, so I had to land him like a bass. Look at how thick he is. Oh man. That's a pretty one. Man. Let's see what he weighs. Zero it out. 164, guys. 164. He's a definitely a good one. Let's see how long he is. There's the 15 mark. He is. 14 and a half. Good one. There he is. Black crappie. Now he jumped on the beetle spin with crappie bites. Well, he's a good one. Yes, sir. Oh, wow, guys. Incredible. Look what that is. That's the first one I ever caught in my life. Look at that striped nose. Wow. I did not know that was in this, <laughs> this part of the river. Holy cow. That is a little trophy right there for me. Wow. What do they call them? Uh, black nose, striped nose. And he should have it on the bottom lip too. Yep, he does. That is a hybrid. He is, he is the genes from a hybrid. One that was crossbred with a black and white crappie. So that is, they say once they, uh, once they spawn, in the river they don't really get real big no more after the hybrids you know after the genetically modify them but that is the first time i ever caught one of them striped crappie incredible i didn't even know they i knew they was in arkansas but i did not know they was in our cash river but there he is wow amazing that is something else you know what i'm gonna put him back he might get a little bigger for the next time I go fishing. But that's pretty cool. I love it. Black nose crap. <laughs> that was fun.
yeah guys i got plenty of videos to watch i've only been posting videos for a little over a year and a half we got over two almost 240 on here and there's plenty for you to watch all winter long if you want click on one of them playlists like the crappie playlist there's almost 70 videos there hit shuffle and you can watch a different video every time hope you guys enjoy i sure appreciate each and every one of you you guys have been wonderful i love the comments keep the comments coming don't matter if they're good bad or ugly i still reply to them but try to keep them clean There he goes. <laughs> Little bitty black crappie. He's a pretty little crappie. Look at that. That's a pretty one. Tiny little black crappie. He's pretty. Later. He was right there. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> he was a little guy. That's why he was tricky to catch. Yep. A little white crappie. Later.